Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of my Aquamod server. Alright, so here we are. Uh, I'm gonna vanish really quick so I don't get spammed too much. <laughs> um, so yeah, there was actually a problem in between the last episode and I recorded all of my audio with my default computer mic instead of my actual microphone so all the audio was awful so I'm just gonna restart this series. <laughs> I uh, made a little bit of progress but yeah that's why I haven't recorded in so long I want this munchlax though I actually caught a munchlax last time in my other videos so I think I'm gonna try to catch another one I really liked having one my old munchlax was a beast so ooh he burnt aqua but I plan to make this one a beast as well so there really shouldn't be much difference Let's throw all our Pokeballs at this thing, hopefully it doesn't give us too many problems. The last one caught really easily. But yeah, I'm back. So it's been a really long time since I recorded on here, so I wanted to make sure I got back on here and got some episodes for you guys. I'll show you some of the new stuff we built in a minute here, and just start working on getting some money and leveling up all my Pokemon. Yeah, this Monchlax is starting to be a problem. <laughs> he is not going down easily, and he's about to take Aqua out. Oh, and also, you guys voted for Jolteon for the Pokemon you wanted Eevee evolved into the most. So yeah, shiny Aqua here is going to be a Jolteon. So, awesome, we caught Munchlax. So, how about in the comments below for this episode, you guys give me a nickname for Munchlax in the comments below. Trust me, this guy's going to be a monster once he levels up some more. <laughs> But yeah, um, also, let's poke a heal up really quick and go down here. We have a brand new EV training room. So if you are a donator or a staff member, you can come down here at any time and EV train up your Pokemon for any stat. So we've got all the Pokemon that give you three EVs down here. So Clefable gives you three HP EVs. Scallopede gives you three speed EVs. Victory Bell gives you 3 attack EVs. Then we've got Blastoise, gives you 3 special defense EVs. And Magmortar gives you 3 special attack. And Golem gives you 3 attack, or gives you 3 defense EVs. So if you get a Macho Brace or a Power Item as a held item and start training down here, you can EV train your Pokemon in like 10 or 15 minutes all the way up. It is very, very convenient, so. And also, I guess you can just catch these things and train them up yourself if you want. There are a few decent, there are a few decently rare Pokemon down here. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that really quick. That is the EV training room. I have already EV trained up Aqua and Machop, so their stats should be pretty good. Aqua, I trained up for Special Attack and Speed because he's going to be a Jolteon, and Choppy, I trained up in HP and. I think it was HP, and it was definitely attack. I might have done a little defense in there, too. Something like that. But yeah, and then I'm going to train up Munchlax in HP and attack. Probably off-screen pretty soon here. So yeah, that's all that stuff, so... Pretty sure I already Poke-Healed, but I just want to make sure everything's good to go. Now, the next thing I want to start working on is... I need to start killing Pokemon for their drops. Oh, and also, you may notice that all of this area is changed. One of our admins, Gregory the Destroyer, completely accidentally destroyed all this area in between Spawn and Fire City, so... <laughs> uh, we had to rebuild all that, so now there's a nice little forest in front of the stadium, and a nice little... Lodge area over here. But yeah, what I want to find now are mill tanks because mill tanks drop leather, and I need the thunderstones are thirty dollars in the shop. And if I check my balance, I have someone gave me eighty cents for some reason. People just do that sometimes, so I'm gonna reset that <laughs> back to zero. So sorry, whoever gave me eighty, but yeah, that's kind of cheating. So I want to find like mill tanks or Pidgeys or Pidgeotos and they will drop feathers or there's a Jigglypuff. I halfway want to catch that but I don't think I'm going to right now. 
Those are decently rare. They just started allowing those to spawn very recently. Um, Lampant, Roggenrola. No mill tanks. I was finding mill tanks all the time earlier. Weird. Well, if we walk around enough, we should find some. <laughs> this is a pretty big extreme hills biome. So, Clefairy, another Jigglypuff. Munchlax. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep searching. I need a Pidgey, Pidgeotto, or... Mill tanks so we can actually sell some stuff and get some money. And I'll show you later. In the store we've got areas set up so you can sell any Pokemon drop. That is the main way to get money on here. Unless you like catch a rare Pokemon and want to trade it to someone else for money or something like that. But yeah, mainly you just get drops from Pokemon and sell them in the store. I'm not having much luck here though. I think I might just start training... Because, yeah, not finding any mill tanks. Those are usually extremely common, so. Yeah, don't know what the deal is here, but. Can't waste too much time. I want to start training up for the fire gym leader. And the fire gym leader has level 25 Pokemon, so. Yeah, we need to get all of our Pokemon around that level. Let's see if we can beat this Raticate. I wouldn't be surprised if we can't, but. <laughs> I'm gonna karate chop this thing. He's gonna Swords Dance, could be a problem. And Tail Whip. Alright, if he attacks here, Choppy's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can Quick Attack and hope he doesn't attack us. Oh, I think he Quick Attacked himself. Well, that's not good. Wow, we just barely lived there. Please use Tail Whip or something. Yeah, Focus Energy, nice. All that experience for Munchlax. Well, that's good. Then let's Poke Heal up and go try to find something else. So that gets Munchlax right up by the other Pokemon's levels. I think baby Pokemon give awful experience, so I'm not even going to bother. Level 23 Aeron. Let's try to fight this thing. I'm going to Sand Attack a couple times. So he can't hit us, hopefully. <laughs> and then, yeah, that'll be good. Then I'm going to come in with Choppy. Yeah, let's growl this thing once too, cause why not? Now let's come in with Choppy and start karate chopping for super effective damage. Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's good experience. Double level up for Aqua. And one level up for Choppy. Now let's throw this at Aeron and try the exact same strategy. Hopefully it'll work again. Yeah, one more. And now let's go into Choppy. And let's Karate Chop. Alright, one more and we will be good. Oh, did he roar us at the last second there? Wow, really? <laughs> well, that sucks. Roar is so annoying. Let's go into Choppy. And let's Karate Chop. Hmm, that didn't do as much. Alright, we need to hit one more. There we go, nice. Level 16 for Aqua and level 17 for Choppy, so making pretty quick progress here. Heal up again, and then we need to start working on Munchlax as well. Also, if you guys know what level Munchlax evolves at, you can leave that in the comments below too, because I'm not sure. Yeah, let's get this Pidgey first. We need some feathers. And we got no feathers for that. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's... Oh. Pidgeotto's normal type, so Lick won't affect it. Yeah, that was dumb. Uh, that does a very small amount of damage. <laughs> let's try a uh, Metronome. I think I'm gonna leave Metronome on this thing, even when it's a Snorlax. Because Metronome's fun. I think that'll be a fun move to have. I think I just used Charge Beam. That should have done more damage than it did. Maybe he used Roost and healed up or something. Well, regardless, let's just uh, keep quick attacking. And he's gonna quick attack as well. 
All right, one more. Nice. All right, let's replace Growl with Bite, and that is a level up for Aqua, and we get two feathers, so... All right, that is some progress, so we can sell those for $1 each on here. So we need 28 more items to be able to afford a Thunderstone. I'd like to evolve Aqua as soon as possible. Alright, here's another Pidgey. We need to also make sure not to get above level 25, because that is the limit for the first gym. Ooh, Charmander. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna throw a couple Pokeballs at this thing. Or not. Cannot hit that. <laughs> Alright. Let's pick these back up. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, try to paralyze this thing with Munchlax's Lick. I think that's my only real option here. Yeah, paralyzed at first turn, nice. And I think it can take one more tackle, especially after we got burnt there. Oh, it died. I wonder if its health got glitched and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, don't know why that happened. Hmm. There are usually mill tanks everywhere. There's one. Alright, finally. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, usually there are mill tanks just all over the place, and I haven't been able to find one. But here's one. So let's tackle this thing. These things, even at the low levels, are terribly annoying to fight, because they are bulky. Alright, no drop. Oh, there it is. Nice, got some leather from that. So we've got 6 out of 30 before we can buy a Thunderstone. Level 27 Pidgeotto. I don't think we can even beat that thing. What about this Pidgeotto? This one's level 21. Yeah, that might be a lot easier. Let's tackle. And we're burnt, so that's only doing half damage. Yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> uh, let's Leer once. And then Karate Chop. We are not going to be able to do much damage at all. Andy has been sand attacking us, so let's just switch out. And start biting. Uh, yeah. We are just going to have to keep biting because... it's all we can really do. I'm going to quick attack and get one last hit in. Alright, hopefully we can hit one quick attack here. Nice, beat it. Cool. Now, did it drop any feathers? Uh, sometimes they move around while you're battling them, but I don't think that one did too much, so let's poke a heal up. I see two mill tanks down here, so that's easy prey. <laughs> this one's level 13, though, and they carry milk drink and defense curls, so these things can get really annoying to fight really fast. So, we'll see. Yeah, once they start combining Milk Drink with... with Defense Curl, that gets really hard to attack them. So I'm gonna come in with Choppy and Karate Chop. That didn't even do that much. Let's Leer. And yeah, this thing's only level 13, so... Very annoying stuff. Let's just keep Leering. And now a Karate Chop might hurt a bit more. Wow, he's growling too. This is the most annoying moveset you could possibly have. <laughs> Growl, Defense Curl, Milk Drink. That is something else. Alright, Foresight, don't care about. Let's grab that leather. Okay, cool. And then let's get this Mill Tank as well. And I'm going to attack him with Choppy before he has a chance to set up any defense curls. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. And then got more leather. Awesome. So, yeah, that's going to... Oh. Another mill tank. Yeah. See, these things are usually all over the place. I don't know what was happening at the beginning of this episode. Okay, so, yeah, actually making some progress here. That's going to be about the end of the episode, but I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to warp to the shop here. And then we have every item in the shop. So you can sell or buy anything you want. Any Pixelmon item, at least. So 
all of the Pokemon drops are upstairs, so if you just walk up this staircase in the middle, we can find leather, and then, yeah, I want to sell all seven of those, and then feathers. So my balance is now at $10, so as soon as I get 20 more, we can evolve Aqua into Jolteon. I'd like to do that before the Fire Gym Leader battle, preferentially. And yeah, the, all the evolutionary stones are at the back over here, so Thunderstone is worth 30, so we are a third of the way there, so... Yeah, I'm gonna continue grinding and trying to get some more items that we can sell in the next episode, so I will see you then. Thanks for watching.